you ready? Governor? Oh, <clears throat> Randall was pointing out his uh, pink pants there to <laughs> <laughs> Get straight here. Well, first of all, thank you, uh, Commissioner, for that kind introduction, and thank all of you for uh, joining us today for this great presentation. And I think it's kind of interesting. I see a few people here was here yesterday. <coughs> uh, got a little bit of money yesterday, but uh, sorry they're not quite as big today. But I want to thank all of you for joining us today. And I'd like to take a moment to thank uh, Commissioner Randall Reed Smith and his uh, team at the Division of Culture and History and members of the Records Management and Preservation Board who have also joined us today from across the state. I want to thank all of you for your hard work to ensure that West Virginia's history is preserved for generations to come. I'd also like to thank our State Historic Preservation Office and the grant recipients uh, who are with us today for making sure that important landmarks to our state's history receive the recognition that they deserve. One of the things I love most about being a West, about, uh, West Virginia is our state's rich history that has been shared across generations. And much of this history was first recorded at the local level. Whether it be written stories of our ancestors' past or historic land documents, these records are part of a larger story that we must protect for those West Virginians who will follow us. And today I'm proud to present 42 counties with records management and preservation grant funding to support record, uh, record preservation projects across the state. Today, Fayette County will receive over $10,000 in funding to digitize its birth, death, and marriage books, and Lincoln County grant funding will be used to purchase computers for the records room to allow the public to research this critical information for themselves. These projects not only increase access to important public records, but they also help piece together the history for many West Virginia families. And today, I'm also presenting nine state uh, historic preservation development grants to counties who are keeping our state's history alive by restoring historic places and, stru and structures across West Virginia. This grant funding will support the architecture resurvey of the Moorefield Historic District in Hardy County and prepare a National Register nomination for a property in Greenbrier County. With the help of this grant funding, our communities can preserve the best of our past and build a brighter future. At this time, I'd like to invite Commissioner Randall Reed Smith to the podium to say a few words. Commissioner. Thank you, Governor, and thank you to each of you who have continued to work with the Historic Preservation Office to make sure that everything stays preserved in our history in the state of West Virginia. There is no greater story told than by the buildings in our communities. And Governor, we want to thank you for your continued support. Uh, I've been here 10 and a half years, and as we like to say, you've been there penny for pound. And we appreciate all that you, <laughs> we appreciate all that you do for our mission at the West Virginia Division of Culture and History. So with uh, no further ado, we're going to announce the seven of the nine grants that are here today. Are we ready? Beverly Historic Landmark Commission, $6,300 to assist with the 2016 Statewide Preservation Conference to be held in Randolph County in the towns of Beverly and Elkins. Hey, Phyllis, how are you? The City of Lewisburg, Lewisburg Historic Landmark Commission, $16,800 to assist with the barracks plans and specs in Lewisburg, Greenbrier County. The City of Morgantown, Morgantown Historic Landmark Commission, $11,000 to assist with the architectural survey of the Suncrest neighborhood in Morgantown, Monongalia County. <laughs> the
The City of Wheeling, Wheeling Historic Landmark Commission, $14,490 to assist with the pre-development documents for the Town Gate Theater and Stifle Arts Center projects in Wheeling, Ohio County. Hi, hey, Danielle. The Moorfield Historic Landmark Commission, $12,000 to assist with the architectural resurvey re of the Moorfield Historic District in Moorfield, Hardy County. <laughs> Greenbrier County Historic Landmark Commission, $5,000 to assist with the preparation of a National Register nomination for the Senator Robert Boone property in Rossevert, Greenbrier County. Thanks, Doug. And the Beckley Historic Landmark Commission, $5,600 to assist with the Neville and Main Street building assessments in Beckley, Raleigh County. And now I'd like to turn the program over to our state archivist, Joe Geiger. Joe? Thank you, Commissioner. The Records Management Preservation Board awarded $384,027 this year to 42 counties. Uh, we have uh, about half of those here with us, and I'm going to start with the Barber County Commission. They were awarded $6,218 to scan and index criminal case files in the prosecuting attorney's office. <laughs> Boone County Commission. $10,000 to scan and index civil and criminal case files in the circuit clerk's office. <laughs> Braxton County, $13,182 to purchase shelving and record storage boxes for the prosecuting attorneys, sheriffs, and circuit clerk's office, and to digitize chancery case files in the circuit clerk's office. <laughs> Calhoun County Commission, $10,000 to index deed books digitized by the Statewide Preservation Project in the County Clerk's Office. <laughs> Doddridge County Commission, $8,650 to purchase a map cabinet and mylar sleeves to encapsulate maps and to rebind and encapsulate will and land books in the county clerk's office. Fayette County Commission, $10,305 to digitize birth, death, and marriage books in the county clerk's office and for the county commission to purchase an oversized scanner to digitize maps, blueprints, and other records that will be used by all county offices.
Harrison County Commission, $10,000 to digitize the assessor's copies of land books in the county clerk's office. Jackson County Commission, $14,859 to purchase map cabinets and mylar sleeves to encapsulate maps in the county clerk's office. Kanawha County Commission, $19,091 to purchase roller shelving for oversized deed and land books in the county clerk's office and to scan and index civil case files in the circuit clerk's office. Lewis County Commission, $15,000 to index digitized deed books in the county clerk's office and to scan and index criminal case files in the circuit clerk's office. Lincoln County Commission, $11,650 to index deed books digitized by the Statewide Preservation Project to purchase public access computers and to restore and encapsulate land books in the county clerk's office. Marshall County Commission, $2,727 to review records and implement the retention schedule and to scan and index case files in the prosecuting attorney's office. <laughs> Mercer County Commission, $11,703 to purchase movable track shelving for long-term inactive case files in the circuit clerk's office. <laughs> Mingo County Commission, $7,500 to scan and index order books in the circuit clerk's office. Monroe County Commission, $7,847 to scan and index map cards in the assessor's office and to purchase shelving for inactive case files in the circuit clerk's office. <laughs> Ohio County Commission. $10,000 to digitize microfilm of case files in the circuit clerk's office. <laughs> Pocahontas County Commission, $7,500 to review and implement the retention schedule and scan and index deed books in the county clerk's office. <laughs> Preston County Commission, 
$7,500 to scan and index deed books in the county clerk's office. Putnam County Commission, $9,500 to digitize oil and gas lease books in the county clerk's office and to purchase shelving for homestead and property records in the assessor's office. <laughs> Raleigh County Commission, $4,963 to review and implement the re records retention schedule and to purchase a high volume cross cut shredder to dispose of records that have exceeded the retention requirement in the assessor's office. Summers County Commission, $5,146 to digitize military discharge books and to restore deed books in the county clerk's office. <laughs> Tucker County Commission, $11,136 to scan and index birth books to purchase public access computers and to restore the assessor's copies of land books in the county clerk's office. Upshur County Commission, $10,000 to digitize chancery and law case files in the circuit clerk's office. Thank you all very much. Before we leave, if we could have Braxton County come back up, please, so the senators can get their pictures and the governor. And Harrison County, Harrison County, please. <laughs> 